Welcome back to Creasonomics with your host, Mr. Gray. I just want to thank you guys once again for tuning in. Um, before uh, we get into the sneaker we're talking about today, let's just talk about 113 days. It's been 113 days, Nike. Sorry, guys. Everybody move to the side for a second. I'm talking directly to Nike sitting in the back of my classroom. It's been 113 days since you guys have decided to give me a W on the Snickers app. I'll let your boy. I really need one. I'm tired of paying aftermarket. I mean, yeah, I get a good deal sometimes, but it's just getting ridiculous. Anyway, moving along. I don't want to be too salty for too long. Um... Today we are really here to talk about are the um, Grateful Dead Dunks worth the price they're going for on the resale market today. So it depends on a few things. One, if you are actually getting them for personal or for resale in the future, because of course resale now, it's that's pointless. When they release initially, if you can get them, that's normally the best time to get them, assuming you're reselling them. But for personal, Let's get into that. That's probably the more important part to speak of. So, before we uh, go too deep into that rabbit hole, let's just take a look at the um, Dunk SB or the well, the Dunk Grateful Dead, the yellow version. So, as you all probably already know, let's get you a little bit closer up. As you all probably know, this came out last year along with um, two other colors. It came out with, uh, as you can see, yellow. Came out in green and it came out in orange. So the the orange color was the most limited. It only released at the at the skate. I forget. I don't even know what skate shop it released at, but it only released at one skate shop. Um, I don't want to name it because I don't want to get it wrong. And so that was the most limited, and so that one is worth like. It sells for, I say worth, it sells for over $2,000. So that one apparently is worth the most to people because, you know, supply, what is it? Um, supply, it's supply, laws of supply and demand. If you have less, it's worth more. If you have more, it's worth less. So that's what the deal is with that. Um, then you have the green one, which is actually selling for, I believe, somewhere between twelve and $1,500. Um, or eleven hundred to fifteen hundred so dollars, and then you have this guy right here, which is selling for about seven fifty ish range right now. So, um, I think I wasn't sure what I thought about it. So I know that sounds weird to you guys. You're like, why'd you buy it? So I will buy a sneaker because I want to review it, but also I buy it because it looks nice online, and I'm never really sure what it's gonna look like um, when I get it. This I do like. I like what I like most. Most of it. So let's let me back up a little bit. I always have to back up on you guys. There are two other rumored. There were two other rumored colors. A pink colorway that was pretty much majority pink, and then a um, like a baby blue colorway that almost pretty much had like this color that was majority you know baby blue. Um, those did not come out. I am still holding my hopes, even though people have said they will not happen. I'm still hoping that those two may come out. Just to be 100% honest, those two are my favorite colors, the ones that don't exist. I know that sounds ridiculous, but the colors that don't exist are my favorite. After that, this is my favorite. Um, just because the orange sells for a lot of money, I don't want it as a personal. Um, and green, it's not, it's not often I'm going to wear green, even though I do have the Grinches and I do love them, but... That I just can't wear them with as many things as I like to wear. So anyway, moving along. Is the Grateful Dead worth the resale that it's currently going for? Um, so currently, like I said, this one's going for about $750-ish. The range, depending on your shoe size. And I'm going to go with a... Yes, it is. I'm, it's actually lower than I actually expected it to be. Although, you know, we, we can't compare this to... Um, what is it? The orange one. It was limited. So like I said, um, supply and, the laws of supply and demand are working there. If all of them came out at the same exact amount of stock, like let's just say there was 10,000 of every single one, of every single color, then I personally would feel like they would all be selling around the range, same range, and they'd all probably be in the, what, maybe $1,000 or a little bit more range. This one's in the lowest range. 
I think personally right now this is at a great personal cop range. Um, by next year this time, of course, it'll probably be a 1000 or upwards of that. Um, resale, I mean, a lot of resellers actually have a lot of patience. Um, I'm always I'm always flipping something to buy something, so my patience levels are low because I see something I really want, and I'm like, oh, I can get rid of this, this, and this, and buy that. So I don't have reseller type of um, patience. I just don't. Um, so for resellers, I think this is definitely a good cop. I, I personally, I don't know if you have the, if you have the cash to just drop seven fifty and hold and wait on it for a year or more, then it's definitely worth it. A personal, I, I, I'm gonna say this with with especially dunks especially now um they're all rising now if it's a trend i don't know i like to say it's a trend um but at the time being they are all hot and the prices go up and each year hey each six months each six months to a year adds it seems to be i don't know 50 to 100 dollars to the shoe so personally i feel like a, a year or two to this of absolutely get it to a thousand dollars or more especially with the other two already um, reselling for over that. So, um, is it worth it? Yes. Um, is it worth it to your pockets? Only you will know. Um, and that's it. It's a beautiful shoe. Let me just let you guys get a one quick good look at it again. And I also bring, just real last thing, I also bring you, sometimes I'm just going to show you a shoe. I know it's been released and everybody's talked about it, but sometimes you don't own a shoe. Same here. There's plenty of shoes that I want that I do not own, but I don't. I would like to see what they look like in HD. And so my goal today is for those of you who don't haven't seen it in HD to also just kind of get a peek at it. Um, one thing I didn't, and it may have been talked about, you know, it's got this cool little zipper in the tongue here where you can actually unzip it and put whatever you may put in in a sneaker pocket i'm not giving you guys any ideas i'm sure you can decide whatever you'd like to put in a sneaker pocket on your own but anyway uh that is what it is so anyway i will not hold you guys any longer i just want to thank you guys for tuning in and you enjoy the rest of your day mr gray out uh -huh.